Let's check out the highlights from that SNL game of the week. Number one, Jenks, fresh off a 45-point beatdown of Edmond Santa Fe, hosting number two, Owasso. All the Rams did last week in Antonio Graham's head coaching debut. Take down the two-time defending state champion, Bixby Spartans. We love to see that young man, Caleb Barnett, back on the sideline. OSSAA doing the right thing, letting him play. First quarter, Trojans driving. Look at that pass by Owen Wilson. Three defenders in the area. It's not Wilson, is it? He drops it into the perfect spot. Look at that all-state linebacker, Sam Stone. He's heading to Princeton. My man can play receiver two, 23-yard touchdown, 7-0 boys of Troy after one. Second quarter, the Owasso running game busts a couple. Big Chris Severus. Check out the stiff arm from that kid. Got three jinx defenders, gain of 38 now. Beep, beep. 20 yards to the house, Jaden Mole. We're tied at seven. We've got a good one. Here come the Trojans again. Rolling left, throwing a dart. For Jalen Cato, that's good for 49 yards. Owen Jones, nicely done. Now we've got KD Jones capping the drive with a 10-yard tutty. 14-7 Trojans. But the Rams would finish the first half with a 13-play, 82-yard drive. Severus into the end zone with just eight seconds to go. And here he is in the third. Strike up the band again. 40 yards to the house. The best offensive line in the state. Playing like it. Owasso had its first lead at 21-17. The Jinx offense denied on fourth down, and the Rams put this thing away. It's sophomore quarterback Drew Frankenfield throwing a dime to the corner of the end zone. Only Julius Wilson could get it there. What a throw, what a catch. What a start to the season for Antonio Graham and the Rams. There's our player of the week. And we know Tate that Bethel to the house. We are looking at now one minute, 14 seconds left. Owasso is salting this thing away, 42-24. They beat Bixby, defending state champs. They beat Jenks, the runners-up, 2-0. You cannot do better than that. Unreal. The Rams will be number one in the state come Monday.